All right, we have a related race problem with all this information. We're talking about a cylinder whose height is equal to its diameter. The height is increasing at five inches per second and the height is four inches. We're gonna combine all these uh, factoids about this little cylinder into a little chart that'll help us solve this problem. So for starters, we're gonna say H is equal to the diameter. Well, but since the diameter is twice the radius, we're gonna say height is equal to twice the radius, two R. Uh, Height is increasing at five inches per second. In the calculus terms, that is dh dt equals five. And then we're told the height equals four. The, what we're asked to do in this problem is figure out how fast the volume of that cylinder is changing. So we're looking for dv dt, and we're gonna say that's a question mark. We don't know what that is, that's what we're looking for. Keep bear in mind that I know we see an r here, but we have h, h, and h. So using this volume formula, what would it make sense to do? Would it make sense to put everything in terms of r, which we don't have a lot of, or would it make sense to put everything in terms of h, which we do have a lot of? I think it makes more sense to put everything in terms of h. So rather than putting h equals 2r in for this, we're gonna solve for r here. We're gonna say r equals h over two. I'm just dividing both sides by two in that equation and plug that in for my volume formula here. So we have pi times, r gets replaced by h over two. We're squaring that and multiplying it by h. Let's clean this up a bit. h squared is, and then times h would be h cubed. So we have pi, h cubed and two squared is four. So this is the volume function pi h cubed over four. And this is all in terms of h, which is great because after all, we're given all this information about h. All right, now we're looking for dv dt, the derivative of the volume with respect to time. So we're gonna take the derivative, let's actually write this one more time here, v equals pi h cubed over four, just so you can see one equation rather than equals, equals, equals. I want one equation here. Okay, we're gonna take the derivative of both sides with respect to t. The derivative of v would just be dv dt. The derivative of pi h cubed over four, the three will come down in front, three pi h squared over four. And then we say, because we took the derivative with respect to time, using this rule here, we tack on a dh dt. Okay, now that I've got this equation that helps me relate h and dh dt and dv dt all here together, we're gonna take what we know, that dh dt is five, and that h is four, and just plug that into the formula to find the value of dv dt. Okay, a little bit of more cleanup here. Four squared is 16, divided by four is four, times three pi is 12 pi, times five is 60 pi, and that makes for your final answer.